I'll now walk you through the mDaemon installation process. First, verify that your server meets the minimum system requirements to run mDaemon. This information can be found on our website at www.altin.com. Select Products, mDaemon, then click on System Requirements in the left-hand navigation menu. Next, download the mDaemon installer file. You can find the installer file under the Downloads tab on our website. Once the download has completed, double-click on the installer file, or if prompted, click on Run to begin the installation process. Click on Next on the Welcome screen. Read the End User License Agreement, then click on I Agree. Select the directory into which you would like to install mDaemon, or click on Next to install into the default directory. Select the first option to install a fully functional free trial of mDaemon, then click on Next. On the Customer Information screen, enter your name, company, and country. Then click on Next to continue. mDaemon uses a digitally signed XML-based license file. Click on OK to download this file. Click on Next to begin the installation process. At this time, the mDaemon installer will begin copying files to your computer. This process may take several minutes. Once the installer has finished, Enter the mDaemon primary domain and the host name that your users will connect to in order to retrieve their mail. Click on Next to continue. Next, configure the first account, which will be the Postmaster account, and fill in the required fields. In the Mailbox field, you do not need to enter the full email address. Just enter the part to the left of the at symbol. The Postmaster alias for this account will automatically be created, thereby avoiding the risk of it being forgotten later on. For mDaemon to function properly, the Postmaster must be configured. By default, this account has administrative rights. If you do not want this account to have these rights, then uncheck the box on this screen. Click on Next to continue. Next, you are prompted to set mDaemon up as a system service. This box is checked by default. Installing the mDaemon system service allows mDaemon to automatically start when you start the computer. If this box is unchecked, you can go back at any time and install the service via the mDaemon setup menu. However, it is always advisable to install it as a service. Click on Next to continue. Then click on Finish to start mDaemon. You will see a confirmation indicating that your mDaemon free trial has 30 days remaining. Click on OK to continue. Your mDaemon installation is now complete and you can begin using mDaemon.